I'm Pastor Jim Shipstead, and I'd like to welcome you to Encouragement for Today. And uh, some of us had lunch with Jack Gutman, and I just thought as we were meeting, I thought Jack could kind of share a little bit about his life. He's inspired so many people over the years. He's 98 years old, and how long have you been married? 77 years. And how many happily? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You know, it's interesting. Whenever people, we tell them we've been married 77 years, they ask me, how do you do it? Well, I tell them, my wife will answer, and she says, the way we do it, it's God, love, and laughter. Yeah. And 77 years has kept us going. And one woman once said, that seems to be so long, but you know, it works with people. If they think about that, it would be great. Now, when I found Christ, it was, uh, I was in show business, and uh, there was a guy that, uh, in the orchestra, and guys in the orchestra are very, very wild. They got groupies that hang around them and so forth. Well, this guy comes in between my shows and he uh, says, Jackie, if you mind, I went in under the name of Jackie Walker. And uh, he said, Jackie, do you mind if I have coffee with you? So I said, help yourself. So he sits there and he says, by the way, Jack, do you know Jesus Christ? And I said, I've heard of him. And he said, do you accept, did you ever accept him? I said, no. And he says, would you like to accept him? I said, no. And he said, why not? And I said, because I got these pet sins I'm enjoying and I didn't want to give them up. Well, that was a mother. And she, he said to me, why don't you let Jesus make a decision for you? If he doesn't want you to have those sins, let him take it away. So get, put it in his hands. Well, I, that was a challenge to me. And therefore, from that moment on, I accepted Jesus Christ and said, you know I love these sins and I don't want to give them up. If you don't want me to have them, you take it away from me. And little by little, he did. My whole life changed. I never, ever looked back. Mm -hmm. You know, Jack was, uh, has had quite a career you know, over his years, show business, and he, had, uh, he was a contractor for, uh, it was putting up wallpapering. Uh, wallpapering. And then, um, of course, he was in the service too. He served as a medic uh, during Normandy and then later ended up going to Okinawa and then almost an invasion of Japan, but uh, the the bomb had been dropped and so that war was over just as you were getting ready to go into the harbor there, huh? That, uh, in Japan, thank God that the war had ended before you went yes. in there. Yeah, yeah we, had, we had Normandy and then uh, after Normandy I got leave and I thought I was gonna get a hospitalization, but they sent me to the ocean side to train with the Marines, and uh, that they were preparing us for Okinawa. So I was in Normandy, Okinawa, and then later on, after Okinawa, on the way back, we were loaded up again for the big Japan invasion. And then as we got a couple days away from it, they started dropping the atomic bombs and they gave up, and they, we thought we'd go back to Pearl Harbor, but they said go into Sasebo, which is the Japanese naval base. So we went in there, and thank God, because it was an inner harbor, the hills on each side, narrow, and they had guns there. I don't think I would have made it. They were waving to us, and I thank God for it. But we occupied it for two months. Jack, so why don't you, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, why don't you share about the, the book that you wrote, too, that's really helped a lot of veterans. Oh, yeah. 
the uh, there was a uh, I was back in uh, Okinawa in 19, 2070, yeah, 74. For the 74th anniversary, we were doing a documentary. And uh, I was being interviewed by the big TVs, Germany, England, France, and so forth, four of them. And uh, I was tired, and after I finished, I sat down on a uh, have a sandwich. My son brought me Craig, and uh, he said, uh, I, he was getting me a drink, and a guy comes over to me and says, um, I read your book, and uh, could you do me a favor? Could you uh, interview me? Could I make an interview with you with my camera for 10 minutes? And I was going to say, no, I'm so sorry, I'm tired. But then he said, I deal with veterans, PTSD. And I said, oh, under that case, I'll do it. So I told, 10 minute interview, the next thing I know, he left. I didn't see him for four months. I finally get a call from him and he said, this, I played your 10-minute tape. You won't believe it, but your 10 minutes saved six men from committing suicide. Mm -hmm. I was blown away, and I said, that's what I'm going to do from now on. Speak to groups, let them know there is hope on the other side, and let them know don't commit suicide. Yeah. So that's it do my job and that's the way it works out. What, what's the name of your book, Jack? That they can order it on Amazon, I know. Uh, Was it something like a veteran's healing from the wounds of war? Yeah, yeah. Something like uh, that. Yeah, if they look under Jack Gutman, they yeah, can find it. Yeah, you go on the Jack Gutman and you'll find it there. It's still selling and I thank God for that. Mm. So, I just continued touching lives and as long as the Lord can do that for me, and I can touch lives, it's a blessing. Yeah. You know, I don't know how many people know it, but we've lost a lot more veterans, at least in Vietnam, during the Vietnam War, to suicide than were actually killed in battle. And if you know someone that is maybe contemplating suicide, I'd recommend that you get a hold of Jack's book because it's really helped a lot of people. But Jack, I just want to thank you for... Uh, for the many jokes you've given at Jog over the years, just ordinary guys, and the way you've touched so many lives. Uh, he's been a, just a, he's like a national treasure. In fact, he <laughs> went, it, when they took him to Normandy a few years ago, he got to meet uh, our president as well. Oh as yeah, a, I shook hands with him and the president, president of, Fr of France. Yeah, so anyway, there's only a few, like 400 guys left, I think, something like that from that war, but World War II and uh, Normandy there. But I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day today, and uh, may God bless you.